I see a lot of videos about what it's like to work in cybersecurity. There's a ton of hype and honestly, a lot of it doesn't really add up with the day-to-day -day reality. After more than six years in this field, specifically in identity access management, I wanna talk about the real expectations versus the reality. This is the stuff I wish someone had told me when I was just starting out in help desk. So let's talk about the first big one, the skill gap. Expectations, you hear that are millions of open cybersecurity jobs, roles, marketers for boot camps and degrees love to flash these huge numbers talking about all the six figure jobs that are just waiting for you. You think, OK, I'll get my network plus or security plus. I'll apply and the offers will just start to roll in just after you see that. Reality is it is much harder than you think and much harder than that. Well, I found and what I see people in my mentorship program struggle with before they join is that it's not really a skill gap. It's an experience gap, which I struggled with when I was first landing my roles and trying to get my jobs as well. Companies and recruiters aren't looking for someone who just passed a test. Right. They're looking for people who have already done the job. This is a classic entry level job needs three or five experience problem. Right. When I was applying for help desk roles, I realized my resume was just going into a black hole and just kind of not getting sent anywhere. Right. The reality is that entry level cybersecurity jobs are extremely competitive and many of them don't really exist in the way you think of it is. The key isn't just getting a cert and calling it a day. It's getting the right cert for a specific niche, like CyberArk for identity access management. And then knowing how to leverage that into your first role. That's how I broke in. I skipped the generic line and specialized. The second one is adding value on day one. Expectation, right? You think you're going to get hired and on your first week you'll be writing cool scripts and finding vulnerabilities or rolling out a new privilege access management or solution or something random, right? You're ready to be technical and make a huge impact. But the reality is the job is often 10% technology and 90% people, processes, and politics. This is especially true in identity access management or I am. You might have the perfect plan to roll out privilege access management, but you'll spend the first six months just trying to figure out who owns which servers, getting buy-in from different VPs and navigating organizational red tape. A lot of companies, unfortunately, don't want to invest in security until after they get breached, which is so backwards, right? So you spend a lot of the time just trying to convince people why this stuff matters before the ransomware hits. The real skill is just knowing CyberArk, is being able to navigate the complexity that's what the high paying contracts are for. Finally, let's talk about expectations. Number three, the daily grind. Right? Another expectation you see the day in the life video, it looks cool, you're a hacker, you got the cool setup, you're always learning new stuff, new exciting things, right? The reality is there is a ton of information and it's easy to feel like you're drowning because there's so much information, you don't know which route to take, what certifications to get, who to talk to, who not to trust, right? Um, buzzwords like zero trust are everywhere and you're constantly feel like if you're not learning, you're falling behind. But the other side of that reality, especially in your first few IM roles, is that the work is, can kind of be very repetitive. A lot of my clients uh, often tell me that as well. You're not hacking on day. You're doing user access reviews. You're provisioning and deprovisioning accounts. You're responding to the same low-level alerts over and over again. It kind of becomes a bit mundane and boring. It can be a grind. And it can burn you the hell out, right? If you don't have a path forward. For me, that grind was worth it because I knew it was the foundation and kind of like the stepping stone for me. I focused on mastering that one niche I am, and that's what allowed me to move into high paying remote contracts. That's how you get leverage and you push through the grind. You master a very specific in demand skill, and then you can call your own shots, right? It's what allowed me to start contract stacking and build the kind of career I have now. So the opportunities are absolutely real, but the path isn't what the marketers tell you. It's a lot of work, it's competitive, and it's confusing if you're trying to figure it out all by yourself and be alone. It's not impossible, but you need the right roadmap. I tell everybody that you have to have the right roadmap to get into these kind of things. That matters 
it matters just as much as getting certs. You have to have the right detailed plan and roadmap. That's the entire reason I started my mentorship program is to give people that clear path, help them bridge that experience gap and get into their first high paying IM roles a lot faster. It's a rewarding field, but you just have to go in with your eyes open and be prepared to for you know what's about to come and what, what needs to be done. Um, so I appreciate all of you guys. We want to make this quick video today. I appreciate all of you guys for hearing me talk. Um, hopefully, I mentioned a lot of good things um, and hearing a lot of good, useful information you guys can go out there and take, right? You, like, like I mentioned prior, you have to take that initiative. It's just so important uh, to take that initiative and find that clear and concise plan that works for you. Don't do what other people you see me doing um, or somebody else on YouTube that you may be watching. Figure out what works for you. It's only when you, at the end of the day, you got to figure out what works for you, works for your schedule, and what you think you can honestly keep track of. Um, but I appreciate you guys for joining. And like I said, staying to the end as always. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video with more cyber content ready.